What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20, and I'm back. Check this out. I've got a window unit right here, and I also got a PTAC unit beside me. This is a little bit smaller than the PTAC. The PTAC has a 9,000 BTU compressor. This one has around a 5,000 BTU compressor. Now, <clears throat> this is a 110 volt one. This plugs in the wall. My, all my wall receptacles in my house are hooked up to the solar power. So anytime I plug something into the wall, it's plugged into the solar power. So this particular unit is a fairly small, uh, low power system, and uh, it doesn't consume a gigantic amount of electricity. Let me get a meter so you can, we can test the amount of power we consume. Currently we've got our unit off. This unit takes a five minute time to let it start up inside the circuit system. So I will bypass that for you, but I'll explain to you what's going on. We got our current volts without a load is 223 volt. It's 123.5 volts, 123.4. It's actually really stable. I'm using the Outback inverter and I have a really good load on it. Uh, so it stays you know, fairly stable. Uh, so we're gonna push the power button. That's gonna turn on the circuit here. And then you're gonna see the power come on right there. So we're gonna turn this on and start it up. I'm gonna turn it on and run it. We're gonna check the temperature output and see what the power consumption is as well. So right now we're looking at 121.5 volts. It's about 340 watts for this specific air conditioner. It's 338, 337, 336. Okay, here on the display, we've got 61 degrees on this side of the thermostat. And we got 77 degrees on this thermostat, the mystery. So, a lot of people say that you can't run air conditioner on solar power. You can see the 61 degrees is functioning. We've got a current load of 422 watts. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, this is just a tiny air conditioner. I'm talking about a big air conditioner for your home. Well, you can. Um, theoretically, you can, but it won't work the same as a normal air conditioner. You have to really design the system. Uh, I've got a window, I've got a PTAC unit right off the side over here. I'm gonna take the compressor out and I'm going to transfer it into a package unit. This is a 9,000 BTU unit, which is roughly about one ton. I've got a three ton package unit. I will install the compressor into the three ton package unit, and then I will move the compressor to the outside of my house. And when the outside of my house, I'll put a couple holes in the walls, run the ducts right through, and then we have the garage heated and cooled. So, uh, if I can run a 9,000 BTU compressor on a three ton package unit, why wouldn't everybody else just do that? It technically doesn't do 9,000 BTUs anymore if you put it into a compressor system like that. It actually runs around a two ton unit with that type of size evaporator coil, condenser coil, assume they're clean. So I will have to clean everything and make sure everything works good check the fan motors, put it on the lowest speed, and uh, put a resistor on the condenser motor so it blows air more gently because it won't be necessary to run as much air through it with a 9000 BTU compressor. So I will put a resistor on the common circuit of the fan and it'll start up slower. Or I may even 
run a neutral and run the uh, condenser fan motor at 110 volts. That way it just runs slower with a lower amount of power draw. The, the whole idea is to reduce the amount of power draw as much as possible with an air conditioning system. This is a 400 watt air conditioning system. With a 9,000 BTU compressor versus a 5,000 BTU compressor, I'm gonna pull more power with that compressor. I will more than likely pull somewhere around 600 watts, which is a increase of around 30%. So let's say we have a 600 watt compressor plus the indoor fan and outdoor blower. So we're gonna say a thousand watts for four times what air, this air conditioning can do at a cost of around 600 more watts, which is not exactly uh, double. It's a little bit more than double for quadruple the performance that you would expect to receive. So that's what I'm going to do in the next few videos. I hope you guys like, subscribe, share in this video. This has proven to you that you can run an air conditioner and I'm going to prove to you that you can run an air conditioner through a house and it's going to be a good air conditioner. It's going to be a big air conditioner and it's going to prove to everybody that you can run an air conditioning system if so desired well-tuned air conditioning system this is phil 20 with solar power electricity and electronics peace out hello ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace